Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your personal, well, I said personal reading, it's not a personal reading, <laughs> it's a general reading, um, it's in regards to love, so let's get into it, let's jump into it, um, <clears throat> start with our stones here. There's like some dynamic duo, like some type of, there's somebody who wants to come back to you. They may get a lot of recognition. They may be very attractive. It's something about this person. Um, it looks like some some sexual energy like like a lot of that the connection is based on just that from one party but another party wants uh, something more solid and stable it's going to take for the other party who's kind of more carnal and thinking about the sexual nature of the relationship it's going to take for spirit to do some work with them in regards to how they view the relationship. Some of you are just going after people because of how they look. Some of you are going after people because of what they can provide for you. Um, you know, monetarily in the lines of stability. You have some friends here who kind of have removed themselves from the situation and you get some people looking in from the outside and they may be telling you Libra um, how other people are looking at you or this is, some people feel like you kind of just like I think it's for my Libra woman like you kind of just like have thrown caution to the wind. You are just like love struck, drunk, drunk in love. <laughs> some truth and some clarity needs to come about how you feel or how the other party feels. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be an air sign. There's ego in between the two of you. It was like a clash, clash of the titans, mm. a fight, not like a, a real fight, but like a verbal fight in regards to um, how you feel, how they feel. Let's get some past, present, future energy. Okay, we've got the past. Presently, where it's Libra. I felt real calm with you guys. Some of the other signs I did, it was you know, kind of jumpy energy. Okay, present, future, excuse me. Bottom of the deck, the four of Earth. Yeah, someone's holding on to how they feel. I, I want, I can't really say money. Now, very cool. It could very well be money, but someone is holding on to how they feel. And they're holding on to the connection, but not opening up. In the past, the Eight of Fire, things were moving forward. There was a lot of passion. There were probably even love messages exchanged between the two of you. Um, there might even have been some messages about, you know, jealousy and greed between the two of you you know, trouble in a, in a, the relationship, why there was trouble, or if it was third party, it might even be that they had trouble, they're having trouble, or, or still is having trouble, still are having trouble with uh, the current partner. Presently with the king of fire, yeah. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, it's something about the desire, the passion, it's real passionate going forward. It's the Ten of Air again. 
it's going to be disappointment because or it might be an ending let's clarify this first what is the eight of fire in the past The ten of air. Good it was communication in regards to maybe an ending. Or someone was telling someone about how they made them feel in the past or what happened in the past. They were trying to communicate about the hurt, the pain. Going forward. Or presently we're at the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you are trying to ward off this this person who's all about desire and fire and passion and sex and just that whole physicality of the relationship. You're really cutting that out. I feel like this is my Libra woman. You're guarding yourself, maybe even your money. Um guarding your independence and guarding your heart you've been here with this person before and it feels like if you allow yourself to go backward and, and sink deeper into this connection if you will it's going to end again seven of cups yeah because someone makes promises just to break them they mean they don't mean them Someone could be a cheating spouse. You know, there's infidelity here. Or Libra, you know, I mean, this could go so many ways. It could be vice versa. Let's see. One more card for the seven. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I felt like it was a water sign. Um. Libra, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They they may have options. They may create illusions and you know give promises. It's about broken promises though. And maybe that's why the disappointment is here. The Ace of Wands, like this is this is this is all they're based in. The Ace of Wands, um, you know the passion of the of the community of the relationship, the sexual energy, uh, the fun, the the excitement. They can't get out of that and understand that you wow, that you want more. You want the Knight of Pentacles. You want to build with someone, and that's what we saw in the stones. Let's get some butterfly. I mean, angel answers. That's way too many. We're going to put them back. It looks like Libra is at a place of... It was fun. Some of you allowed yourself to go back into it. You might have had a one night stand or a fling, a weekend or two with this person. But now you're realizing that it's just not going to work. We'll take those. Bottom of the deck, let go. Yeah, you're just realizing that Spirit has to work with this person to actually, for them to actually see you in a different light, to see the, what the connection is or what it can be. Improving health, if that is a concern for the for someone out there, uh, within the next few weeks, communicate clearly. And it looks like with the Queen of Swords, you are. Let go. Some of you are going to communicate to a partner that you want to be single, this is what you want. You don't want to go back into the whole marital status. This is what you want. Let go. All right, let's see if the butterfly oracle cards. What do we have for Libra? Self-employment windfall. 
Be true to you. Gracefully aging. Nice. All right. So Libra. Um, if you are self-employed, it's highlighted here. Maybe there'll be some good uh, business that comes your way. An increase of business or just maybe there's money owed in business or just money owed to you, period. Or there's just some good fortune that befalls you, that a windfall here. And be true to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for some of you, you just want to be single. I really feel like that's a lot of my Libra men. For some of you, my Libra woman, you're trying to protect where you built yourself up at. And of course, this is pentacle. But the nine of pentacle woman or man is the nine of pentacle person because... Of course, they've done a lot of work in regards to, you know, material and, and monetary, but they've also done the inner work on themselves. They've gone through the Ten of Swords. You get the Ten of Swords twice. They've gone through the disappointment, the heartache. They're coming up as the Queen of Swords. She's been through the divorce. She's had the marriage. She's had the children. Um, she's protecting gone, having gone through life experience, building herself back up, doing the inner work. And not trying, not allowing someone to come in and interfere with the work that she's done on herself. Some of you are going to get a spiritual download about what this person is and what they have been in your life here. Gracefully aging. Take care of yourself, Libra, inside and out. Um, Improving health. Do whatever it is you have to do to, you know, be better. Whatever better is for you or to you. All right, so Libra, if this message resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you need to reach me for a personal reading, um, I do have a special $20 for two questions. Uh, send me an email. Go over to the website. Thank you. Uh, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.